Hello everyone, in this video I'll be introducing robots.txt file in Shopify and telling you how merchants can make their custom add-ons to those files in their Shopify store. Uh, so, um, some of you know robots.txt file basically contains the rules for um, web crawlers which tells them which pages on your website they should or should not visit. This is practically very important from the SEO perspective. So. Um, let me show you how to add the robots.txt file. So for this purpose, I'll be using my um, development store. And currently on this store, I have I have a robots.txt page, but it's practically empty. There is no particular rules here. So um, how do you add the boilerplate template, uh, robots.txt template? You have to go to online store in your Shopify admin panel. Uh, look at uh, basically find your theme and click on actions and edit code. So once it loads, you have to uh, focus on the template section. Uh, in in here in this list, I do not have a robots.txt file, but I can easily create one by clicking add a uh, new template and look for robots.txt create template. It's all saved. Now let's go to my uh, website and refresh it. As you can see, here's a boilerplate generic um, robots.txt file which Shopify provides for all stores. Uh, so now the interesting part, how we can add those uh, sections, how we can add our own custom, custom rules here. So there is this page which Shopify released, which basically I'll leave this uh, link in the descri description of the video. Uh, it tells you how to add new rules to your existing group, how to remove default rule from the existing groups as well. You can um, add and block certain crawlers from accessing the website. For example, in this case, uh, this rule blocks the disco bot. And um, let's copy this. Um, so yeah, let's copy this uh, rule here and add it to our, our current robots.txt template. Uh, let's place it at the bottom here, paste it and saved. Done. Uh, up after refresh, we can see that this rule has been added on the website. And that's pretty much it. It's relatively simple. Um, if you want to um, add a few other other user agents, you don't want visiting your website, you can just simply add this rule and change the naming. And um, also I would like to mention one thing. In case you have many custom rules here and you want to go back to the original um, boilerplate um, robots.txt file that Shopify provides, you want to make sure that before you delete this file and recreate the template, you want to save this. So just just copy this all the custom code and save it on your local computer in the in text file, just in case you want to go back. But in my case, let's say I want to delete this uh, rule. Uh, let's delete it. Refreshing it, we'll see. It's there's no rules from now on, and let's recreate a brand new one. Robots.txt, create template. Done. So the custom rule is gone, and uh, I have the most generic um, Shopify uh, Robots.txt file. So this is pretty much it. I will leave all the links uh, where you can read up about the Robots.txt files, their limitations, and what you can and you can cannot do. And uh, yeah, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you.